Hey guys, this is Rakesh here and I'm from IT University, um, open free university for uh, IT professionals and seekers. Uh, there are many uh, playlists uh, in this channel uh, on big data which cost a lot when you go for a class or when you go for online tutorials and other stuff. Those are here. I am basically on uh, Apache Spark and uh, I hope you have followed my previous videos. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about how we can load data from a CSV file and from a JSON file. For that, I think I have my system ready. Uh, this is my, uh, what I have done is I have created a class called Spark SQL CSV JSON example.scala. This is an object which I had created in Scala. Inside it, this, this is the main method. And what I'm doing is uh, I have uh, initialized a spark conf object and through which I had initialized a spark context. And after initializing a spark context, I have initialized a SQL spark SQL context as well. So guys, these are the basic steps which you need to perform. After that, what we can do is, uh, let me see, SQL C do load. Yep, I have a load method. And I want to have a method which returns me a data frame because I want to see what are the schemas which are there. I hope uh, I I hope you remember what uh, uh, data frame was, which is a combination of both RDD and a uh, schema. So guys, uh, this is a method for calling, um, for loading a CSV format file in which I have to uh, give the class name and in the option, it is a map which is required here and inside it, what I'll do is path and path goes to box and give it from mine and which I would like to have true I'll give it like this yeah and I'll name it as uh, so guys what I'll do is I'll um, um, I'll pass a file through uh, the arguments and the file will be demo.txt I'd like to show you the demo.txt. So in that you can see this is a New York Stock Exchange data in which of various dates and uh, the symbol are, symbols are mostly A and double A. So if you can see the schema is given on the first line which is symbol, date, on which date it has been traded, the open rate, the closed rate, high, what was the high at that day and the low as well. So what I'll do is I'll pass on this in my uh, through my uh, uh, through my arguments, um, but I need to give this a value, which will be NYSE data format is do like this. So okay, my data format is there. Now what I can do with this data format? So I can do NY. se dot register temp table and by c okay and then what i can do is nysc d f dot uh, what i would like to sh show you is i'd like to print what is the schema so let me see whether i'll be able to print some schema out of it or not okay so in my, if you can go here, uh, in my run configurations, what I have done is I have given in the argument, I have passed the path of my file, which I would like to show. So let me see whether I'll be able to do something on it or not. Could not find Spark SQL CSV example because the name of the file has been changed. I need to do a run configurations again. JSON. Now it started running. Yeah. 
on port 4040. Okay, I think it has printed something. So guys, if you can see, it has printed symbol. All it has printed as a string. So it has given me a symbol, date, open, close, high, low. And mostly it has given me a string, string, string and string because it has taken, I think, the parent uh, data type because I haven't mentioned any data type. So it had taken a parent, parent data type, which was string. So for within long and string, it will take string as the parent data type. And you can see that uh, null are there. Uh, null is nullable is equal to true. So means we can expect some null. So because we need to explicitly set nullable as false. So you can see that uh, for me, I haven't uh, given any schema over here, but it automatically reads the schema, right? And if I, I have, you now if you can see, I have registered my NYSE. And uh, now here also you can see uh, in this arguments, I have given header is equal to two. What header is equals to two means is in the first line of the file, the header will be taken at as the schema. What is the schema? Like whenever we create a table, we give the column names and the data type. So it automatically takes these values. So once I, what I'll do is in the same Spark program, in the same Spark program, I'll say sqlc dot sql sql select this thing so I am BOL from NYSC okay dot collect now oh, we have collect okay. dot to list yep and I would like to print this Let me see what I'll get. Okay, it is running. Okay. Still running, yeah. Okay, I think it has given me. Okay, so now, yeah, guys, you can see that it has given me the list uh, A, A, and A as value. So, guys, you can see the power of Spark. Like, I'm able to execute queries, and over the top of it, I need not to specify any schema because the schema is discovered through it. So, the main target is to discover the schema and to have a uniform. Uh, uniformity between the data types and then to query data on the, on, on the top of it. So yeah guys, you can perform different operations on a um, data format. Also guys, if you are not um, used to these uh, query uh, based uh, framework, what additionally you can do is nyse yeah, dot agg if I'll say If I'll say column as shall it work? Hmm. So yeah, uh, guys, I think this is the real format. And uh, if I would like to print count nyc dot collect dot for each inside it, I can I can give as that uh, it should print me the the values. So this is also another way that if you are not aware of a query language, so you can use uh, these DSL based annotations and you can get a result. Okay, 
so yeah now if you can see the result as it so let me check whether i have eight records i think yeah they are eight so now guys what i'll do is i'll uh, um, i'll switch over to the json format and for that what i'll do is i will comment this okay yeah so now these are all commented what i'll do is for json format what i need to do is again for spark context dot read or i think there should be a json json read as well json file yeah i think this is it json file inside it what i can give give is src slash text slash search slash Mm. slash person dot json okay so this is done so i think it also returns a uh, person data frame let me see what is the what was the uh, json file format gives me a data frame here yeah. So now I have a person data frame. Uh, so again, if I would like to print what is my uh, print schema, then I'd like to see okay. that what is my uh, schema. So in this case, I think, guys, if you can see, person is the first name last name and the age right so it is a json uh, data which has been given here in this example let me go here and see so as you can see that it has given me age as long because most of the numbers are in most in the age is the number first name and the last name it has given me as what as string and a level as true so again if i would like to register my person df dot register temp table as person and if again i am bit good in sql base what i'll do is sql and select star from person where age is greater than or is less than 60 okay and then you collect it and for each uh, you would like to print the values print Okay, let me see what is the output. I'll comment the schema as I know it has picked the right schema. So in JSON, it picked the right schema and it picked it correctly as well. So let me see what is the output. So you can see how easily it can pick the schema and you can query it around and give, it gives you the same look and feel of uh, hive based um, yeah so it has given me barack obama which who is 53 years old so guys isn't it cool that uh, we are able to execute our programs along with it we can use our programming languages capability as well so i think this is it about um, the json format and sql format in next videos i'll explain uh, spark sql in more detail thank you guys thank you for watching my videos thank you very much